Hey there, DIY enthusiasts. Welcome back to Hydro Haven, where we dig deep, literally, into the heart of sustainable gardening. Today's guide is all about making your own soil from the ground up using time-tested permaculture techniques. Whether you're starting with lifeless dirt, a patch of weedy yard, or even a balcony container, you can build rich living soil that feeds plants for years to come. This isn't about buying bags of mystery mixes or chasing miracle amendments. It's about mimicking nature's own methods, layering, composting, cultivating life to create a thriving soil ecosystem right where you are. Let's get started. The first step in permaculture soil creation is observing and understanding the space you're working with. Take a look at what you've got. Is the area compacted, sandy, rocky, or clay heavy? Does it flood after rain or dry out too fast? Are there signs of life, worms, weeds, microbial crust, or is it sterile and silent? In permaculture, we don't fight the land, we listen to it. Observation helps you plan how to build your soil in harmony with its needs, not in defiance of them. Whether you're working in raised beds, urban plots, or containers, this principle applies. Assess first, then act. Now let's talk about the foundation, organic matter. You can't build soil without it. Everything begins with layering carbon-rich and nitrogen-rich materials. This is the permaculture equivalent of nature's forest floor. The method is often called sheet mulching or lasagna gardening. You start by laying down a barrier over grass or weedy soil, something biodegradable like cardboard or thick newspaper. This blocks light, smothers unwanted growth, and creates a moist, dark environment where decomposition can begin. Wet the cardboard thoroughly to kickstart microbial activity and help it mold to the contours of the soil beneath. Next, it's time to build your layers. Start with a carbon layer. This could be straw, dry leaves, shredded paper, or small twigs. On top of that, add a nitrogen layer, fresh grass clippings, kitchen scraps, coffee grounds, or manure. Alternate these layers, carbon then nitrogen, each about 2-4 to four inches thick. This balance fuels microbial life. The microbes do the real work of transforming waste into fertile, crumbly soil. Don't worry if your materials aren't perfectly layered, nature is forgiving, and decomposition will happen as long as there's diversity, moisture, and air. After your organic matter is layered, Add a thin sprinkling of finished compost or topsoil to introduce the microbes and fungal spores needed to jumpstart the soil ecosystem. Think of this as inoculating your system. It's like adding sourdough starter to dough. This tiny addition brings life to the mix, ensuring rapid decomposition and nutrient cycling. At this stage, water thoroughly, keep everything moist but not soggy, and let the natural processes begin. Covering your new soil mound is crucial. Use a thick mulch layer, Wood chips, straw, or leaf litter work beautifully. This final layer protects everything underneath, conserves moisture, and moderates temperature. More importantly, it invites fungi, beetles, and earthworms into the system, which are your underground allies in long-term soil creation. If you're in a dry climate, mulch thicker to prevent evaporation. In humid areas, a lighter mulch layer will suffice to prevent fungal overgrowth. Over the next several weeks, what you've built will undergo transformation. Beneath the surface, billions of microbes will be at work, breaking down material, cycling nutrients, building humus, and creating structure. You can accelerate the process by periodically watering with compost tea or a diluted molasses solution to feed the microbial community. In cooler months, the process may slow down, but it never stops. By three to four weeks in warm weather, or eight to ten in cooler climates, your layers will begin to resemble real soil, dark, loose, and filled with life. Now comes the exciting part, planting. In true permaculture fashion, choose a mix of deep-rooted plants, ground covers, and nitrogen-fixing species. This not only brings diversity above ground but also feeds the soil from below. Deep roots pull nutrients upward and break up compaction. Legumes fix nitrogen. Mulching plants like comfrey or nasturtium create ongoing leaf litter to sustain the cycle. You're not just planting a garden, you're growing a living system that regenerates itself. For those in small spaces or containers, the process is nearly identical, just scaled down. You still layer organic matter, keep it moist, and feed it with life. Over time, container soil built this way becomes incredibly rich and resilient. You'll notice fewer pests, stronger plants, and a need for fewer external inputs. The beauty of making your own soil using permaculture methods is that it gets better with age. Each season, your garden becomes more fertile, more alive, and more independent. There's no waste, only transformation, no synthetic inputs, only cooperation with nature. And once you've built this foundation, you'll never look at soil the same way again. 
If this guide helped you envision building your own soil from scratch, help us grow this knowledge. Subscribe to Hydrohaven and don't forget to share this video with your fellow gardeners. Let's create thriving, living gardens, one layer at a time.